following tag team contest is set for one fall, introducing team number one. First from Hyderabad, India, the Jesse Hitman, Rohit Roshu. So this match is uh, more of a business association than anything else, D'Lo Brown. Yeah, you see, Rohit hired Hernandez to be his hired gun because, you know, Shira just wasn't playing by Rohit's rules. Sometimes it feels like Rohit can't stand it when everyone isn't talking about him. Everyone's talking about Storm 1000, right? James Storm's 1,000th match coming up tonight in the main event on hashtag Impact on Access TV versus Eric Young. We're also gonna see Brian Myers tonight, a number one contender knockouts tag team match. Kenny Omega and Don Callis are in the building. His tag team partner from Houston, Texas, Hernandez. Picking up my thought with all of those things going on, Rohit feels that more attention should be paid to him. Speaking of paid, that's why Hernandez is here. Perhaps for more people to pay attention to Rohit. Well said. The only reason Hernandez is here is because of the almighty dollar. So issues born over Rohit stumbling upon Fala Ba, who had fallen on hard times take up shelter in the studio, and I get it, he's trying times, but we should all help out. Said Rohit mocked him, and it led to a match, and then Rohit continued to mock. Their opponent first from the Philippines, Fala Ba! But to Fala's credit, he fought back, but two against one, never good odds. Insert Fala's partner here tonight. His tag team partner from Punjab, India, the Indian Lion, Shira! So, D'Lo, how does this match up? This is a matchup of strength and power. Look at Shira. He is carved out of granite, and he's got it in for Rohit, who he thinks did him wrong. The glaring difference here for me is that Hernandez is paid to be Rohit's partner. And look. Shira has chosen to be Fala's. And there he's got too much glory hog into the camera. And right then, Rohit and Hernandez just jump right on us for the start. Whoa! Oh! Tensions are running high. Right, welcome back to this PTI exclusive tag team action. Fala Ba beating on Rohit Raju. Yeah, and that beating happened throughout the break. Fala was just like a man possessed as he was whipping Rohit all around this ring. Fala has fallen on hard times. I think Fala should be one of the people participating in celebration on April 25th, the head of Rebellion. It's an interactive, uh, fan, internet-driven experience. There'll be all kinds of merchandise and items. And again, I think that Fala could benefit and advance his financial career a little bit if he took part. Well, we could also advance his financial career because, you know, Fala is on cameo. Oh, what a shoulder tackle from Hernandez. Oh, double stop by Rohit. Hernandez in for the cover. No. You know, Hernandez looks at Fala just as a job. Yeah. He's just a job. Mm -hmm. When he sees him walking down the street, he thinks job. When he sees him walking to the ring, he thinks job. Yeah, it, it goes back to the old saying, it's nothing personal, it's just business. And right here, Hernandez has proven his business is good. So when you talk about that nothing personal is business, how do you assign that to the main event of Rebellion? Kenny Omega, the All Elite Wrestling Champion, versus Rich Swan, the Unified Impact World Champion. It's business, but it's also personal. No, it's all personal. Kenny Omega and Don Callis are verbally assaulting Rich Swan and, and baiting him in with the one-winged angel and telling Rich there's nothing you can do about it. This is nothing about business. This is extremely personal. Oh, what do you say to those that say that it is all about business? Don Callis has alluded to the fact that he's had this like plan, this grand plan, ever since he took over commentary and went to Japan, and he and Kenny hatched this plan. So it is business, because what do you gain from it? You gain money, you gain fame, you gain power, you gain ego. Okay, it is business, but it's business for one person, Kenny Omega, and one invisible hand, oh, Don Callis. God, follow on the business end of the senton. You know, I'm reminded of a group called EPMD. They had a bunch of different albums that played on, you know, business never personal and things like that. It's an interesting mindset going into Rebellion. Yeah, well, here's the thing is, I know come Rebellion, 
every member of the Impact roster is going to take this match personally and they'd be personally invested in it. Touche, good point. Rohit Raju circles around and takes advantage of the exposed back of Falaba. Now Rohit in tight. Referee Brian Hebner assigned this contest. Checking to see if there's a submission and or a choke. And good, good placement there by Rohit with that chin lock there. Keeping, blocking the air, blocking the, the, the carotid artery, just trying to, to slow Fala down. You know, I'm interested to see which referee is going to be assigned Storm 1000. You know, you have to take things like that into account. When you look at big games, hang on, cover, two, nice hook of the leg there. Like, you know, the World Series, a game seven or a, a final four. You kind of want to know who the officials are, because certain officials have different types of tendencies. I'm curious. That's the main event that's coming up in just mere moments, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, look at her name. Steam across the ring and knock, knock sheer off. We'll kick things off with a number one contender knockouts tag team match. Havoc and Nevaeh against the champions Fire and Flavor. Should Havoc and Nevaeh score a victory, they earn themselves a title shot. That'll be nice oh. to see for those two. Look, look at Rohit right there, taking a cheap shot while Hernandez has got the referee distracted. And yes, it'll be nice to see if, if Nevaeh and Havoc can get that win and, and qualify and earn a title shot in the near future. Kick to the gut. Fala has been in there for quite some time, enduring a lot of damage. Yeah, Fala has been isolated a long time in the opposing corner. That's not good for him. fala has got to find a way to get across that ring and make that tag to Shira. Ooh, the back rake sends Fala down. You know, I hate the back rake. It's just one of those. Two. It's one of those moves that just, just, bothers your mind. I can't stand yeah. it. Depends on how certain guys, you know, clip their nails and stuff. It just it burns for a hot second. Yes. It's like, you know, yeah. Ugh. And right there, look at the neck crank here by Hernandez. <sighs> and now Hernandez tags out the Rohit. Oh. That was smart of Rohit. You saw he looked down at Fowler, looked at his eyes, saw that was... Nothing there and went for a quick cover. Yeah, he, I think he saw his eyes were glassy and just sit, think he had that flash mm. knockout. But don't estimate, underestimate Fala. Ah, oh, look at this. Arm bar. Heat. Look, look at this. Now you can see that Fala's arm still has a bit of a bend in it. Not going to get the submission there. fowler has got to use his weight to get out of this. And look at the way Rohit rolled through. Nicely done and a tag made. And you see how Rohit rolled through into his corner, allowing that perfect tag without losing any kind of body control. Great, great wrestling there. Gave up Fala as if he was offering a present to Hernandez. Uh oh. Speaking of presents, today is uh, Eric Clapton's birthday, uh, IRS Mike Rotundo's birthday, and Trent Beretta's birthday. Hey, well, look at this. Fala's about to give a birthday present, I think, himself. <laughs> yeah, Hernandez needs to know not to strike the head of Fala Ba. And Fala will remind the hired gun. Both big men on the move, collision! Double crossbody! What the heck? Now both and men now, are down. Fala's team has the advantage because the tag that's going to be made is made to a bigger guy, perhaps the biggest in the match, whereas Hernandez has no choice but to tag Rohit. Here comes Rohit. Here comes Shira. And look, Shira. Oh, a double hammer. Close that's line. Look at Rohit. Shira. Oh, Rohit kicks. Able to get off the back. And look at Shira. Look at how he's matured and grown. Years ago, Shearer would have run into Hernandez. This match may have been over, and it still may be, but this time in favor of the Lion. No. Good save there by for Hernandez. They're saving the win because it looked like Rohit was gone. Oh, Fala, uh, Rohit ducked. High striking knee sends the big man to the floor. Hernandez now up. Uh oh, we've seen this before, before from Hernandez. Hernandez got pretty. My gosh, you get what you pay for, and that's freaking worth it. That's a 747 coming at you from over the top rope. Oh, now Rohit's gonna go. But again, that's back to Rohit, like he had to just show him up, and instead, he got shot up by, Ro by Shira. Oh! oh! Man, Hernandez, wily and wicked, and paid in full. Mumbai drive by, and it's going to work! Here are your winners, Hernandez and Rohit Raju. A 
champ like Tyson, a captain like Kirk, employee of the month, because yo, he does work. Those are the great words of Big Daddy Kane, but they apply to Hernandez. Rohit's investment has paid off, D'Lo Brown. Hernandez just said, and prove to the world, when you hire me, I get the job done. Now there it is, ladies and gentlemen. More of that coming up on Hashtag Impact on Access TV.